My name's John, John Hill, and um, I'm actually a Scottish lad, but uh, I've spent a large part of my life in, uh, in, in Germany. I've always wanted to continue my education, whereby my, my degree in, in business computing is now almost, uh, dare I say, over 20 years now. And um, that's for me, I always say, if I, if I do it again, then it's got to be with a Scottish university. My work at the moment as a, as a self-employed IT consultant uh, has been in, in the banking industry. There's also the fact that I've been doing some advisory support for a startup in, in the medical area of diagnostics. And um, that's why I've picked the one variation of data science which uh, includes medical informatics because I have absolutely no medical background and I'm hoping to use that as a stepping stone in order to, to move into that industry as well from a consulting perspective. One of the reasons why I picked this course is um, the way it's structured. Um, there, there are only certain modules which are compulsory that you have to do, and depending if you, if you take it with the medical informatics focus or, or not. Uh, but then there's a whole suite of, of further modules that you can uh, then do, which uh, in terms of number and in terms of the bandwidth of, of subjects that, that they cover, uh, makes it extremely interesting so that you can put a focus on certain interests that you have, um, depending on if you're, if you're going into a new domain like I was, or if you're, if you're coming from a certain domain. The core concepts of the stuff that you have to learn are prepared in, in, in short videos. So they vary between 15 to, to 25 minutes and so it's broken down and then you have your, your, your papers accompanying it with, again, the core messages of what you're supposed to be learning. It's not as a case of lecture standing in front and then telling you the core concepts. It's a case of you should have already digested these prior to that. Um, and looking at the video 20 times if need be to the point that you think you've understood it but if not then you'll have these classroom sessions where you can then uh, raise questions um, and so that the, the professors then identify where people have issues in, in, in the actual learning and so for, I, I, I like that in that sense the, the best part uh, of, of the actual course was the assignments because you get to work with other students we usually paired up uh, for, for my for my working life uh, I'm always having to work with international teams, so it's not as if it's something completely new, but uh, with all the capability of Skype and, and online discussion boards, um, in, in groups or directly, uh, emails, you've got so many channels that you can use to communicate and exchange and, and, and learn. There's various aspects that play a role uh, for me um, for, for doing this. is uh, The one is that, um, with the one startup that I've been doing some work for, this, um, to get uh, where I can see data science having a bit a big influence is uh, to get a bit of a, a medical background because I have absolutely no medical background. Um, on the other side is if that startup area doesn't work, uh, even in the industries and banking and mobile communications where I've uh, spent many years doing projects, I can see there or I've been watching that industry, these industries to see um, uh, that the data is also playing another bigger role there and the amounts that they collect it's uh, going to be. Important. So it's going to help me in, in acquiring new projects, being a self-employed uh, consultant. I've, I've spent a, a lot of time, or many years, in, in mobile communications, and uh, now I'm banking, um, and the, the, they're all collecting data in all sorts of forms. I'm using this to test out how well I cope with, with, uh, with learning, because if it works out well, then I'm hoping that uh, I can maybe progress to a a PhD if, if there's an appropriate area where it fits and ultimately it's, it's, it's increasing my network um, because uh, I'm always keen on, on making connections between Germany where I live uh, and work most of my time and, and I'm back home to Scotland.